All right, guys, so I like to be honest when I make a mistake, I like to own up to my mistakes. Um, and I made a mistake. So I had reviewed, it was called The Meat Stick. It's on my channel if you want to go take a look at it. I did a review. I thought The Meat Stick only had a charge of like four hours. So what the truth was, when I was brought to my attention, The Meat Stick had to charge for four hours. It could last 24 hours. So I was wrong. I was a little bothered by that because if you're cooking a brisket, uh, that's gonna take 12 hours. So um, the meat stick goes long enough. So I need to go remove that out of my video, re-upload it. I gotta do a lot of things, but I wanna first come clean, let everybody know that I was wrong and um, doing the best I can to correct that information, okay? So I'm getting out to you, the meat stick is a wireless probe you stick in your meat. There's no wire that comes out of it. And it communicates with your phone and it tells you the temperature inside the barbecue and inside the meat. It's a pretty cool device. I like it a lot. So anyway, uh, corrections been made. All right, guys, you guys, I'm excited about this because I'm holding on to barbecuing and smoking and grilling as long as I can. I know it's starting to cool off, get rainy, become more like fall. But, I mean, a true barbecue person, all year. All year, they'll go all year. So anyway, coming in close, I wanna show you, we're gonna do a product review today of something really cool. I've been looking forward to this. They told me they were gonna send it to me. They sent it to the show so we could try it out. And I'm very excited about this, so come on in. So I'm excited. Products have been arriving to the show like crazy. I am backed up over there. You can't see them. I have product after product waiting to be reviewed so that we can get ready for the holidays. The holidays are coming. I'm all pumped. So this, if this works, this is going to be a definite holiday gift for some people. Okay. This is, um, this is called, let's talk about the product we're reviewing first. It's called the meat stick. All right. It's literally just a, a, a probe you stick in your meat and it can tell you Wi-Fi when the meat's ready, okay? Uh, there's no wires sticking out of your grill. And one of the problems we had with another company that did this, you couldn't communicate with it. The stick went into the meat, you close the lid and because the lid metal and the door that closed in the backyard, I mean, you should be able to be at least 100 feet away and get a reading. So I'm hoping this one works and I believe this one has a technology that it can be, have a Wi-Fi bridge. So it can communicate with my Wi-Fi system and then communicate with my phone or this device. I haven't even looked at how this works yet, but it's called the Meat Stick. This is a new product. We have not reviewed this yet. All right, it says unlimited range. That's, that was the biggest issue with the other company, which I'm not going to name the other company, but this may be the present of the year. Okay. So we're going to be doing this. I'm excited. I got to get this charged. That's why I'm not dressed with my show shirt and we we're not even ready to get started on this video. I'm just introing the video right now, but it's the meat stick review and we're going to be doing this pulled pork. Why do I do pulled pork? I love pulled pork because it's very kind. If you never cooked, if you're just starting to cook, just starting to smoke, just starting to deal with meat out in the backyard and stuff, um, pulled pork, you can kind of go a little bit further. Temperature wise, it's still good. Um, I have yet to make a bad pulled pork. I've screwed up brisket again and again, but pulled pork's very kind. And I, I always recommend, this is $11. $11 as opposed to like a $70 brisket I'd rather waste $11 if I'm going to screw up, right? So now the beauty is this, this seasoning right here, we're going to be using this. I've heard great things about this seasoning. So a lot's going on in this episode. This is called butt rub. <laughs> Don't even get me started. It's called butt rub. It's for your pork butts. So we're going to use this on this with this. And we're going to try it all out. We're going to let you know if this is any good. We're going to let you know if this is any good. We're going to let you know if this is any good. This is going to be good. I know it. I'm not worried about this. Okay. 
So let's get this meat stick uh, going. I'm going to review it, charge it, and then we will uh, see you in a second. So I got the Mini X meat stick, and then I got the meat stick. Okay, guys, this is our test before we cook. 78 degrees outside. It's beautiful and sunny. And right on top of my pit boss is the meat stick. I got it sitting right on top there, okay? So I don't expect it to be absolutely perfect, but within a degree or so, I should say that it's 78 degrees, like it says on my little temperature thing here. All right? So let's uh, go get a meat stick reading and see what it says. 79, is it 79 in here? Indoors, let's see if I have a 79 reading in here. Okay. Okay, it says it's 79, so my stick says it's 79, and the sensor on my house says 79 outside. Um, um, what is this, filet mignon? Mm, it's beef tenderloin filet mignon. So I pulled off some filet mignon, and we're going to cook that instead. Put the meat stick in. That won't be four hours. That'll be probably more like 30, 45 minutes till it gets to medium rare, all right? So I'm still... Like, once again, I'm redesigning the whole video here, guys. Uh, I didn't think about this at the beginning, okay? So I'm still doing the pulled pork. I'm still trying out the butt rub. But I'm also testing the meat. You guys are getting a ton in this video, all right? I'm testing the meat stick out. I'm testing the butt rub out. We're going we're gonna to cook this up anyway. So in the next scene, we're going to take care of the steak. I'll show you how it is sticking into the meat and all that stuff. But then by the end of the video, I will try butt rub on my butt. <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> butt rub on my butt. But anyway, um, so that's what we're doing right now. So we had to make a few tweaks to this video, okay? And now it's time to continue. So uh, the next thing is, let's get this seasoned up, this steak here, and get our meat sticks into the steaks, and then we'll take them out to the smokers outside, all right? I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I've got my filet mignon on a plate. See? And we're going to season the top two and the bottom two. The top two are going to get wood-fired garlic from Kinder's. I really like this, this company. This, this, uh, this old guy on the front, he's kind of cool. He's on all of them. Anyway, it's called wood-fired garlic, okay? You know me. Everybody knows me about garlic. I love garlic, and I love seasoning heavily. So I open the end that it'll pour out, like instantly. And I lightly shake it. There we go. Get it really coated well. Oh, I'm so rude. Why am I leaving you over there? Come in close and I'll show you the meat. Okay, you guys see the meat now? You can see how I'm heavily seasoning it on that side. Then I'm gonna flip it over and season. Oops, let's do both pieces. Flip them over, season again. Um, most of the seasoning will fall off before I put it on the grill or when I put it on the grill. So that's why I always season heavily. Because why do you put so much? It's because it's going to come off anyway. All right. So I want to have some seasoning stick around. So let's do this one now. Sometimes moisture gets in your seasoning. And you got to bang it around. So let me go with the shaker side. Whoop, it's got my shirt. All right. Let's go with the shaker side. I think I like the shaker side better. More control. I don't like losing control. Especially when it comes to my meat. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so we'll flip that over. All right, I love a good chunk of meat and that filet mignon is gonna be delicious. So we're gonna get it. You gotta, you gotta smell what I'm smelling here, guys. Now I know why they use this on steak. It just smells amazing. Okay, so now we got to get the probe in. So I'm going to, I'm only going to probe one of these and we're going to cook at the same temperature. So the rest will probably be close to the same, but I'm going to probe one of these. This one looks pretty thick. All right, so I'm going to probe that one. Hmm, let me think. See, I'm totally developing the video as I'm filming. All right, so let's probe one of these. 
There we go. Now it's probed, and let's give it a try. Make sure it's all in there. There we go. Okay, guys, there we go. I got the meat probe in the meat right there. Give that a try. Got our four filet mignons. We're gonna cook that to 135. These will probably be a little bit higher because they're smaller. They'll cook faster. So we're looking for a 135 temperature. All right, guys, so the meat stick has alerted me through the grill, through my door, and I got my buddy, my buddy Chad, who's helping me out here today. And we got wind picking up, so good thing this meat's done. We're gonna take off the smaller ones, leave the thicker one for another minute or so. So go ahead and do your thing. We're just gonna pile up. Uh... Oh, that smells good. You want to bring this one up? Uh, no, not that one, leave that one, take the other three. Yeah, the one that's probed is considered well, I guess you can take them all off. Let's just take them all off. If I need to cook that one, probe one a little bit more, I will. Because that's a big one, too. So we're going to cut into this and see how it is. It smells amazing. Um, is that the one we decided to cut, or was it that one? I thought you said this one. Well, well then it's that one. <laughs> Go ahead. No, okay. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> just, just cut right into it. This is hopefully medium rare. Go ahead and cut right mm. through that. A little S smells good. great. Let's see the inside of that. Yeah, that, that looks good. Got a little pink to it. I like it. Smells it. really good. Okay, so then we're going to have you taste. All right, guys. This is what it comes down to. Meat stick worked flawlessly. Talked to my phone flawlessly. I didn't even need the Wi-Fi bridge because that was close enough. But um, thank you guys for sending me that sample to try out on the show. Now we're going to try the meat out on the show. Go ahead. Cut right. yourself a piece. I'm excited. Yeah. Okay, here we go. We're gonna find out how it tastes. Oh man, look at that. Good. Mm. Seasoning okay? I get all worried. I always get worried when I cook. Always. No, I, it looks like a lot, but it really isn't when like when you actually taste right, it. Right, right. It's very mellow, very I like seasons you can taste. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I had to go heavy because they're thick pieces of meat. Yeah. So, is, by the time you taste it. Yeah, that is. Okay, good. Marvelous. So, did we do good? <laughs> I believe so. <laughs> All right, we did good. So, I'm going to pull the probe out, wash it off, put it back in its charger, dry it off, put it back in its charger. And, uh, and yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. So, you guys, um, let me know if you've ever used the meat stick before. Let me know how it worked for you guys. But, for me, it worked flawlessly as you saw. I tasted this butt rub on my finger and it was just kind of okay. But I promised you I'd put it on my butt rub or I put it on my butt, whatever. I'd put it on here and I'd try it out. So if it ruins it, it ruins it. But let's give it a nice good coating, give it a chance. All right, we're going to cook with it and see if we like it better cooked with. Okay, so it's just falling apart. It came out great. My son has already taken a piece home with him. He came over today to help me out. Um, the bark's beautiful. The sm the meat's pink inside. The smoke ring's beautiful. Uh, I just don't know how the seasoning is, so we're going to taste the end right there. Here we go. Hmm. Not bad. Mm hmm. I like butt rub. Okay, guys, butt rub seasonings better once it's cooked on. I didn't like it raw, but I don't like a lot of seasoning raw. But when you cook with it all night and have it mix in with the juices of the meat, it tastes delicious. So, I think I got butt rub at Sam's Club, I think. Now, I just got this new bread. You guys know I talked about the zero carb bread at Walmart, right? This is brand new. This is the Hawaiian version. That's right. So, there's people online writing me right now because I told them there's zero carb Hawaiian bread. And I just got home from Walmart. I bought a loaf. We're going to have it with this uh, pulled pork. 
and they want to know how it is. So I'm going to try it out right now. I'll be posting. You probably will have already have seen it. But let's give it a taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It's got that. It's got a lot of fiber. You can feel it because it's a little bit, a little bit tougher than normal bread. Normal bread falls apart in your mouth. This is a little bit firmer, which is totally okay with me. But mm. if you keep chewing it, you can taste the sweetness. There's a little bit of sweetness in this. Not sure how they did it, but it's zero carb and I love it. And I recommend it to you guys. And I got this at Walmart. It seems to be brand new. So go to the bread aisle. Is that where we got the bread aisle? Yeah. Go to the bread aisle and check out there. There's a Hawaiian version of their zero carb bread. All right. So check that out and try the butt rub and enjoy yourselves, guys. I love you and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.